Have you heard of Facebook Creator Studio? If you use Instagram or Facebook in your social media strategy, I'm sure you have but do you use it to schedule your content? In this video, I'm going to walk you through the platform and show you why I use it to schedule my video content. If you want more tool and product recommendations to help you in your video marketing journey, make sure to click the link below to download my resources guide. So first off, why should you consider using Facebook Creator Studio? Well, first off, it's free, which is a pretty big plus in my books. Also, if you're managing multiple different accounts, you can have them all linked under one Creator Studio account, making things so much easier when planning content for all those different accounts because you don't have to switch between multiple different schedulers. Also, Facebook created this platform to help you schedule your content. So if Facebook created a platform for free for you to use, in my books, that means that they might give you a couple extra brownie points in terms of engagement and reach because of using this platform. Now, this is a very um, controversial subject because some people agree that, you know, if Facebook created this platform that maybe they're giving you some extra points and some people think that this isn't true at all. So take it for what it's worth. There's no data behind this. This is just strictly my opinion, but I think that if a platform is giving you something to create more content and schedule it easier, that there's a reason why they're doing that. Now let's jump over into my computer so we can walk through this platform together. Okay, so I've logged on to the back end of Facebook Creator Studio. And so this is the homepage you're gonna see when you first log into the Creator Studio account. So it's going to give you just a brief outline of your recent posts, some insights, um, some other things like that. You can actually create a post right from this dashboard here. You can add a story, you can go live, you can upload your video. So really think of Creator Studio as your content hub. So instead of actually sharing a post on your business profile, you're actually gonna start to use Creator Studio to post all of your content and to go live and all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna say discard that because I'm not gonna create a post right now. Um, but at the top bar here, you're gonna see that there's Facebook and then Instagram. So you can actually toggle between both of them. And it's going to show you um, kind of an overview of your Instagram content as well. So in Instagram, it's going to look a little bit different because it's more of just a posting platform. Um, whereas for Facebook, it's a complete management system. Um, so for example, you can't really go live from the Instagram platform here. You can only just schedule your content to go out at a future date. So. Here in your Instagram feed, you're gonna see all content. You can then kind of go down through the different types of content. So video, photo, um, carousel, stories, and then IGTV. So I find this extremely helpful to post my IGTV content um, in particular. And um, also the video content for Instagram as well is very helpful. At the top here, you're gonna see that I have a bunch of different accounts linked and that's because I'm managing client accounts, but if you're only managing your account, you're just going to see your account here, but you can actually come and toggle accounts on and off there as well. Um, next in the Instagram side panel here, so on the left-hand side, you're gonna see create posts and then you can pick which type of post you wanna create. So an Instagram feed post or an IGTV. Then down here, of course, is your sidebar. So content library is where we are right now. You can then go to calendar and this is going to give you a calendar view of all of your different posts, which is really nice. And this is where I think that the feed view is going to go at some point here. I'm just gonna switch this over to my account. So you can see all the different content that's been going out on my account and at what times. And then if you wanna see the specific stats on that, it's going to tell you. So here, for example, on the 6th of January, I posted a video. So if I click on that, I posted it at 206, it tells me, right? And it gives me a preview of the video, preview of my caption, and then it's gonna give me some stats. So this is just a nice way as well to look at your analytics on a dashboard, like your computer, instead of on your phone, if you wanted to um, look at that on a bigger screen. So it's gonna give you some more information there. Um, same thing here, so if I click right here, it's gonna tell me this is a story and it's gonna give me some more stats there as well. Next on the dashboard here is your insights. So if you come down to insights, this is gonna give you, again, more of a, a bigger view of your insights than just on your phone, which is also very helpful. So it's gonna show you the actions you took, you know, website visits, discovery, all of that stuff there. Um, if you click into audience, again, it's going to kind of break down some more information there as well, the best time and date. So again, it's just a nice view to look at it instead of sometimes on your phone. 
Next, you're going to come over to monetization and brand collabs. Um, this, I don't have anything on my account here, but this is where you could have um, different brand collaborations happening. If you had that happening on your account, if you're an influencer or something like that, um, you can apply for different things here as well. But my account isn't eligible for collab because I don't have 10,000 followers or more. So that's just something to look at if you are reaching that point or if that is a goal of yours. Next, you can come down to Instagram accounts. This is going to tell you what accounts are um, active on this account here. And we'll come back over to content library. So that's basically a rundown of the Instagram side of things. It's pretty simple. It's just a really great way for you to schedule your content, look at your insights all in one platform on your computer. Next, let's move over to the Facebook side of things. So we went over this homepage here, but let's run down through the side menu just like on Instagram. So you can come up and create a post and that's gonna, there's a lot more options as you can see with Facebook. So you can add a story, you can upload a video, you can upload multiple videos. So if you were batching your video content, this is a really nice feature to go and put up, you know, 10 videos at a time or four videos at a time. You can also go live and you can also post video across multiple pages. So if you're managing multiple different business pages and you wanted video to go across all of them, you wouldn't have to actually create individual posts for each of those. You could just select this and have it post across all of them, which is really time saving. Next, come over into content library. And this is again, just like in Instagram, it's just going to show you um, all of the different content that's come out on your page. And you can do really nice things here, like all published, you know, you can see all the published content you have. You can see all of the scheduled content you have. You can see any drafts that you're working on, anything like that, which is very helpful. You can also filter it by the date and time. So you can go last 90 days and it's going to show you everything there. You can also come over into the left hand side here and go to stories and see turn on story insights for all of those things. Look at all the engagement and information there. Um, you come down into insights. Again, this is just going to give you a more granular view of all the different insights that you have going on. I have all the pages selected right now, so it's going to be a little bit of a, a mix of different insights here, but that's where you would look for that. So that's a quick rundown of the main things you need to know when it comes to Creator Studio. Now I do want to point out one really fun thing that I really enjoy when I'm posting things for Instagram and Facebook and using the same content on both of these platforms and just changing up the, the, the caption a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to schedule Instagram first. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, I'm going to create a post for Instagram. I'm going to go to my profile here. I'm just going to say test for now. And I'm just going to upload a random photo here just to show you guys how this works. So let's just pick this guy here. Perfect. So you can add location just like you do on, you know, your Instagram, Instagram, um, on your phone. Then down here it says post to Facebook. So this is a really big time saver because you can actually post to Facebook at the same time as you're scheduling your Instagram feeds. So if you come down and you click post to Facebook. Now I always say if you're going to use the same content on both platforms, you don't want it to be going out on the exact same day, right? You want to kind of stagger that content so that your audience is seeing that content at different times. So what I like to do here is instead of publishing it at the same time, I like to say save as draft because then I can go in and change this text around. So if I had, you know, a bunch of hashtags here, I could actually go through and remove those hashtags for Facebook because Facebook doesn't really use hashtags the same way that Instagram does, right? So if my content was all filled out there, I could then come down here and go schedule and I'm going to schedule this for, you know, say I want to work on March content. I'm going to schedule it for March 18th and I'm going to say schedule. Okay. So now I can come over into Facebook and then I can make sure my page is selected there. Come over into content library. Then go over into drafts and you'll see that draft sitting there. So instead of having to, to recopy that that post again into the Facebook side of things, it actually does it for you, which is a big time saver. So then I can just come into here, click on it and change anything that needs to be changed. So maybe I was going to remove the hashtags and maybe add, you know, a link here so that you can actually add links in Facebook and then change the photo or whatever I need to do and then actually save that there, right? Then if I wanted to actually schedule it, I would just click here and go schedule and pick the date and time that I wanted to schedule it for. So that's a really big time saver. And those are some of the key things of why I really like 
Creator Studio. Now, keep in mind that Facebook Creator Studio only manages Facebook and Instagram. So if you need to schedule content to other social media channels like LinkedIn or Twitter, this might not work for every single um, circumstance. You might have to utilize another tool to content to schedule your content on those platforms. Also, there is a new feature that's coming out on Facebook Creator Studio for Instagram, and that's where they are gonna actually let you preview your Instagram feed before you schedule your post, kind of like Later or Planoly does. Now, this is a huge update and a huge feature that is slowly being rolled out from Facebook, and so I'm not entirely sure when everyone's going to be getting access to it. I don't even have access to it on my own Creator Studio account, but look out for that because it's hopefully coming in the near future, and in my opinion, that's a huge game changer. Now, I would love to know what you think. Will you be trying out Facebook Creator Studio for your business? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you guys in deciding whether or not to use Facebook Creator Studio in your business. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos on this channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next week. Bye. Also, Facebook created this platform to help you... My God. Also, Oh my gosh. Also, Facebook helped you, oh my gosh. Get it together.